I wanted to start with you first. You've said in previous interviews that music plays a big part in how you prepare for different roles. What did you listen to as you stepped into Jeremiah's shoes? Oh my gosh. Um, well, my number one song um, that literally I listened to like while I was in the callback or chemistry read uh, was Cigarette Daydreams and or uh, Kilby Girl. Uh, I just, those two were such perfect, like they fit the vibe of who Jeremiah was so perfectly uh, that those two things, those two songs like really got me in the headspace and in the emotional state because it just has such an impact on me um, to jump in the scene in the shoes of Jeremiah uh, along with some Tower of the Creator and Taylor Swift and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I would say that those two songs really um, impacted me and had such a big difference. Great answer. Chris, Conrad is uh, a character who internalizes a lot of what he's feeling and going through. As an actor, how did you prepare to tackle that? Um, I had a lot of time. Uh, I, I found out I was cast in, I think, March, and we didn't start shooting until July. And it really took me, I think, that whole time to be able to love him enough to, to play him. Um, because it's sometimes hard to justify people doing things that you feel like you've grown past in your life. Mm. I'm like, well, I wouldn't do that because, and then I'm like, oh, I'm not 17 anymore, you know? And just creating space to forgive someone for making mistakes before they've learned that it's a mistake. Yeah. Um, and you know, he's going through a lot in his life and to forgive him for, you know, being sad. <laughs> John, one of the benefits of adapting the story into a television series is the opportunity to flesh out these characters. And while Steven isn't a huge focal point in the first two books, he plays a much larger role in the show. What was that collaboration like working with Jenny as you expanded on Steven's arc? I mean, it was it was unbelievably amazing. Props to Jenny because a she gave me and the entire creative team gave me the the creative liberty and freedom to just make choices and kind of figure out who Steven is because you know he's not really fleshed out as much in the books as, as he is in the show so I think it was a m measure of both of us kind of figuring out who he is and finding out how he would react in these situations and what goes on and 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 she Jenny was absolutely amazing she was there every day on set so if I ever had a question or, or, or I, as a, a comment about something she was always there to talk about it and she was more than willing to you know yeah um, this is a question for all three of you, but you know, when you're working on a project that's being adapted from a popular book series, there's going to be comparisons that are made. What's one characteristic of each of your characters that you wanted to make sure was carried over from the books and what's something new that you brought to each of them? Hmm. Wow. That's a great question. I know for myself right away, I wanted to keep that relationship with Stephen and Belly intact. Mm -hmm that sibling rivalry, but it's just surrounded in love, you know, that it always is. And I wanted to keep that and I really tried to stay true to that. Um, and one thing that I think I brought forward was his ability, his romantic capability, Stephen, his ability for love in a romantic capacity mm. uh, for another person that wasn't really explored in the books, but I think was explored in the show. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would say I would I, I loved keeping the life of the party energy that Jeremiah had. Uh, just that over expressive, you know, kind of just goofy kid. Like I loved that. Um, and, and I loved trying to explore more of the deeper and darker parts of Jeremiah. I don't think we really got to look in his uh, headspace during book one. And I think that you definitely got a taste of it in uh, the first season. So, um, man, it was just so much fun exploring the, the different sides of who Jeremiah is. Yeah. I think my favorite thing that was carried over from the books for at least Conrad was his relationship with Laurel. I think that's really important to how he was raised and the person that he is and will continue to be. Um, so those are some of my favorite scenes. There was one that was cut, um, but there's still some of my favorite scenes and Jackie is just incredible. Um, but bringing to Conrad, I think it, it's a beautiful thing to be able to see him make change with Cleveland, like on the boat and learning and making a friend and having someone to confide in. Cause that's not something, I mean, obviously because Cleveland isn't in the books, but it's not something you, you get to see Conrad really go through in the books. You know, he goes through change, but you don't really get to witness it. And to, I think, be able to see it, um, I don't know, it, 
lends some some insight to yeah. where he's headed and where he's been. Thank you.